Hey YouTube, Comic Collector here, and today we are going to be doing some recorded duels with the Nordic deck on Dual Nexus for another series of Dual Flexus, the part of my show where I flex my decks on Dual Nexus. So we're going to get going here. I can just sort of brush through the deck really quickly. Uh, the deck has not changed since the profile I did. So if you guys are looking for the deck list on this, I did do a deck profile last week. So go ahead and check that out if you want more details on the deck, how this deck works. Basically, what we're going for is we're trying to get out our Link Monster, Galvig, and uh, trying to combo it with Hippo Carnival, or else our Alvis of the Nordic Alphar. Each of which, those uh, two-card combos are able to take us on into our Azir Monsters. So we're going to just start off right away with a duel against the... Um, the Nexus AI, just because uh, it's a little bit nicer. You don't get someone who scoops on you. I've been doing quite a few duels in prep for this, and it just seems like everyone doesn't who doesn't want to play, you know, they... Oh, okay. I thought right there he was going to have the Droll and Lockbird thing, and that would have just absolutely cheesed me. Uh, but he didn't. Okay, so uh, we're going to start off with our Rescue Cat. This is usually our best starting play. Use Rescue Cat's effect. Um, no, we don't want to chain that. No, we don't want to chain. <clears throat> okay, so we're going to special out our two goats from the deck. I, I like to put them in defense if I can. And then we are going to special summon out our Gulvig. So once Gulvig hits the field, we use its effect. And yes, now we do want to chain. So we're going to use our one of our Hippo Carnivals. And, um, no, we don't want to activate our second one. So we're just going to summon these guys out. And now it's absolutely essential that when you do this, you, um, you leave the zone that the Gulvig is pointing to, leave that open. And then also, uh, now, now that everything is highlighted, because now it's asking us which cards do we want to banish in order to special summon new cards to the field. So... What we want to do is we want to send away all of those hippo tokens because while even one of those hippo tokens lasts on the field, we're not able to go into um, uh, we're not able to go into the uh, I don't know what I'm trying to say here. We can't go into any of the monsters in our extra deck. Sorry. Um, so you guys might notice that right now I grabbed kind of the wrong cards. What I did is I picked up a Tank Yoster, which usually in this time you would try to pick up the Emir because it's a level 2, but right now what I like to do is you can use um, Banditus' effect in order to send another monster from the deck to the graveyard. So I'm going to send another of the Tank Yosters, and so now the Banditus becomes a level 3, which means that we now again have a total of um, le uh, 10 levels in order to go into the uh, whatever easier monster you want at the time, but I just like to do that to mill an extra card into the graveyard. So um, we activated the effect of Odin. Now we can just go into battle phase. And we're going to attack there, and we can't attack with our Goldage because he's too tiny. Um, okay, and then uh, no, we're not. We are not attacking with that. So we're just going to go end phase, and we'll see what our opponent's going to do. Um, oh, okay. For some reason, he attacked us. Uh, sometimes the AI Nexus is really not that smart, which is ironic because AI stands for artificial intelligence, and sometimes it's just not that intelligent. But uh, so now we can send with our Vanitas, we can send out the Mimir, and oh, I thought we would have. Um, do, 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 do. Alright, so. Now that we got that, okay, and now we are going to, um, oh, now it's asking us, do we, no, we don't want to do that. We're just going to go on into our battle phase here, and we'll attack the Lycoris, and we'll attack with our Gulvig for game, so that worked out really well. All right, cool. Um, yeah, a little odd that the Nexus ended up attacking us there. Um, sometimes it does that. I don't really know why. Um, but we are going to go ahead and we're going to try to go up against a real human being. So hopefully this guy won't scoop on us. 
So I'm going to send him a little friendly little message. Hello, you are on YouTube. I know that I spelled your wrong, but I'm a rascal, so I'm going to leave it like that. Okay, so he is playing Salamangrates, so uh, sometimes, you know, I don't like going up against combo decks because, you know, um, sometimes they just take a really long time. Hopefully this guy will go through his combo nice and fast for us, so uh, um, I don't know if he sent me a message back or not. I might have missed it, but I don't think he did. Um, so right now our hand... Oh, okay. Uh, he, he said... No hard feelings. I'm not sure what he means by that, but um, okay. So maybe he means that I shouldn't have hard feelings with his Sal Mangrate deck that he's probably going to be dishing up hardcore. So even if we don't lose this, uh, if you guys are curious about Sal Mangrates, maybe you guys will enjoy this. So he's going on into a Sal Mangrate mirror, which you don't really see too much in competitive decks. So maybe we're in luck. Maybe. Uh, He's not going to be going too hard on us. But, uh, okay, so now he's dropping a gazelle onto the board. Um, one other thing, guys, if, you, um, if you're if you not familiar with the channel, if you guys would be interested in checking out the details on the giveaway that I'm doing, it ends on May 4th of 2020. So the giveaway is coming to an end. We have less than a week, so... If you guys would like to get your hands on some classic Yu-Gi-Oh cards, I'm talking we got Crush Card Virus, Blue Eyes, and Dark Magician from Starter Decks Kaiba and Yugi, stuff like that. So it's going to be a really cool giveaway, as well as new cards that are going to be coming out. The uh, Well, not really new anymore, but Secret Slayers is the uh, pack that I'm going to be giving away. So, uh, yeah, it's going to be a lot of fun. So, All right, so we just got to keep in mind here... Uh, the wolf, I believe his effect really only triggers if you summon to its link zone or anything like that. Um, so, yeah, so we probably don't need to worry about that. He just points up ways to us. Yeah, so we're just going to start off. Um, might just try to go for a quick instant fusion play just to see if he has anything to respond to. Kind of a good idea sometimes, so... Um, no, we're not going to chain any of these effects. We'll go on into our Thousand Eyes Restrict and just try to suck up one of his monsters. I think that would be a good idea. So, we're going to see if we can suck up the Sunlight Wolf. And, um, yes, I guess we will chain Called by the Grave and we'll just bounce the Phalanx anyways. Not that that really matters here, but, um, yeah, we'll do that. Okay, he's going with the Circle. And he's unaffected by monster effects this turn, except its own. Okay, so, all right. Well, it's not a big deal. Uh, the best the thing is, was we wanted to use that effect just in case he had something to respond to it with, which he did. So now we can go ahead on into our Vanitas, and hopefully we'll be able to get all of this off. So even just to see if he has, like, an infinite permanence or anything... We're going to use its effect and just send out our Valkyrie out of the deck. And we'll see. It doesn't look like he has any response, so that's fine. And now we still have four cards in our hand. Oh, I might have... Nope, I think I'll, I'll be okay. Yeah, so we are going to... We have to get rid of the Thousand Eyes. Okay, he's got goes and Match. Each player can only control one attribute of a monster. Um, okay, so... Yes, we will. Um, yes, we will chain. And so we have a light and a dark, which is unfortunate. And our tokens that we're going to be bringing out are earth. So that is a very sly move. Um, uh, yeah, I really don't have much of a response to that. That's unfortunate. So, um, yeah, I shouldn't have even used that. Uh, da, 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 da. Yeah, I don't want... So the goes and match, how would this work? Goes and match would go off. Um, I, I'm going to try going for the carnival because uh, by the time all of this is resolving, uh, ooh, maybe goes and match is going to be stopping us. 
Oh, uh, yeah. Goes and matches resolving right now. So, um, okay, Gulvig can still get rid of three cards, and we can still take out um, we can still take out some lights from the deck. But I just don't know if we can really get anything going with what we have. These guys aren't going to be able to go into any synchros or anything like that. So, yeah, this guy might this guy might have us in a pretty good lock. That goes and match was pretty clutch. I'm not going to lie. Um, yeah, really good move there. He's going to be able to probably just wipe out our whole board right here, no problem. And he's going to be able to poke us for damage. So uh, I kind of have a rule. I don't want to scoop on the guy because I hate it when people scoop on me. So. We're just going to let him finish out his plays. He can probably take us this turn. Uh, not a big deal. Um, just to make him feel good about himself, maybe we'll, we'll leave him there, and we'll just go on into our next window with our next duel. That sounds good. So we're just going to go back to the uh, Nexus AI just because I like how the flow of the duels go a little bit better. It seems like, um, they, you know, I mean, obviously they don't take as long. Okay, so we're going up against... A Sky Striker build here. Um, I I'm not. I don't think I really want to chain. You know, sometimes it's hard to tell when you want to use your effect veilers and not because overall, I I like keeping as many cards in my hand as I can. So uh, again, here we're just gonna try to proc out any effects that he might have. Right there, he had a Solemn Warning, so it's good to get the Solemn Warning out of the way with the Instant Fusion, rather than them doing that with like an Infinite Impermanence, or, or I mean, uh, using Infinite Impermanence, Effect Mailer, we don't want Effect Mailers to be happening on our stuff. So, yeah, that's totally fine. I think what we can do here is, um, Effect Veilers, da -da 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 -da, face the monster bone controls. Okay, so I want to see if um, we can actually use the effect of Rescue Cat. I'm going to use it as a cost, activate Ayers Rock Sunrise, and just bring it back. And we should be able to Rescue Cat again. Uh, okay, no, we can't because the effect is negated until the end of the turn. That's ah, stupid. Okay. Um, yeah, we can't do anything, so that's unfortunate. Yeah, he's just going to be able to hit us for a lot of damage on here. I'm not going to use the Effect Veiler, because if I use Effect Veiler this turn, then that means we can't go full combo next turn. But he's probably going to have... Oh, he didn't... Wow, okay, so he didn't attack. Um, all right. So our Rescue Cat was able to stay on the board, which is not too bad. So... We are going to go on into our Gulvig, pick it up there, and yes, use Gulvig's effect. So, um, cards that we don't really want to banish, uh, actually no, we, we, we just have to banish the Alvis, and that's it. So, when an Alvis is banished, you can send a Nordic monster you control and two from your deck. Uh, so you get just like the free full summon right there, so we're going to get Vanitas onto the field, and we will, yes, use Alvis's effect, and so we will, from the Monster Zone, we will use Vandis, as well as, um, actually, can we, so we can just use our Tangoster, as well as Vandis from the deck. Nope, sorry, sorry, we have to use, we do have to use the Vanitas in the Monster Zone, because I put him in the zone where our monster is supposed to be going, so since that is a four, and we can just get rid of two of the threes, and from here, um, I think, well, you know, because he's going to have quick effects, so Odin's really not going to be helping us here. I think going with Odin, or I mean with uh, Thor, is going to be a little bit better. He can negate monster effects and whatnot, so that's probably a good thing, and so, um, yeah, so since we have our Gulvig on the field... Um, do, 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 do. For the rest of this turn, we can't go into monsters except Aziers, so we can't get out our Blackluster Soldier just yet, but that's okay. So we're going to go into battle, and we'll see how this works out. Okay, so now he's got the um, Sky Striker Ace. Da, da, da. Okay, so now he's got Shizuku again, and we're just going to have to end phase. <clears throat> okay, 
Okay, okay, okay. So now he's starting to really pile up on the spells in the graveyard. All right, and there's Thor. Thor is gone. Um, Gari, do we want to negate its effect in this card? Special summon target on the Sky Striker as your hand. Gains an attack. Yeah, let's just uh, let's just Baylor. Might as well. Um, okay. So all right, and then they're striking. Da -da -da. Okay. Well, at least we can go on into our Blackluster Soldier. So we're gonna special summon there. And with that, we will, um, uh, and we would be pretty close to being able to go into uh, another of the Nordic monsters. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to set Tang Joster in the corner, and we're going to go battle phase here. And so luckily we'll be able to use Black Luster Soldier's effect again, and we'll just be able to attack into the ray. Getting rid of that. Uh, okay, and then replay. Yes, we'll continue the battle and we'll swing in there. So um, at least Black Luster Soldier is like a good way to get around. Ugh, jeepers. Yeah, um, it can sometimes get around Sky Strikers. Not all the time, because Sky Strikers are nuts. Okay, we just have to poke for 11 damage at some point. But we're sitting here with a lot of damage of our own. So. Um, oh man, if we had, mm, you know, if I wouldn't have set the Tang Joster, we could have just done the Valkyrie combo and gone straight into Odin. That's unfortunate. So, um, and we can't go on in to do 1200 damage, so it's look, it's not looking good. But I think I'm just gonna, I'm gonna end phase it. That's all we can really do. Um, all right. Okay. There's a, there's, there's a chance here that we can make this work. So we're gonna activate, and we're just gonna send Mimir. Activate a card, no, we don't wanna chain anything. So now we're gonna go on into another Gulvig, and as long as Gulvig can go off, I think we're gonna be okay. So uh, drawing that Hippo Carnival was everything we needed right there. So, and for some reason, he he has not been getting his hands on like the Widow Anchors or anything, so that's really good. So we're gonna send away our three tokens, and we're gonna pick up our Bandidus from the deck, as well as, uh, we always wanna pick up Alvis if we can. So that is a total of eight stars. So, um, and then we're just going to pick up our Mimir. So, Put those guys onto the field, and then we will special summon out. Um, we might as well summon out our Thor, just to negate again, negate those monster effects. And we'll activate and battle phase. Can we just swing on into the ray? And we poked for damage. So okay, um, I think just to oh yeah okay. I guess I uh, the. Uh, that Salamangrate duel is over. <laughs> so um, we'll go on into one more duel. So I think that we should hopefully have time. Uh, we're just going to do one more bot just because I like how those duels flow. It just is uh, so much easier going up against bots. Um, I think there's, there's pretty low chances of me going up against real people for at least for a while, uh, except for like when I have a guest star like some of my friends to play with me then ooh okay so he's using assault mode to activate um uh attribute monster i don't think called by the grave is going to change anything so we're just not going to da -da -da. is this card treated as stardust dragon no it's not uh when this card's destroyed okay so when a card effect is activated, tribute this and gave the activation to destroy it. Okay, so um, we're going to try to uh, we're we're going to called by the grave on the Stardust just to get that out of the way. And yeah, we want to we want to get that Stardust assault mode off the board as well. So we're going to start off with our Kitty Cat. He's always uh, a great turn starter. So. Then going on into our Gulvig, obviously pick that up. Yes, use Gulvig's effect, and you might as well just get rid of the Tank Goster on the field. 
Um, don't lose advantages. Get rid of those guys. So we will. Um, yeah. So now it's kind of a question of what do we want to bring out. I think I, I still want to bring out the Odin. And so uh, we're gonna send, we're gonna get pick up the Vanitas because otherwise we would want to maybe just send Guild Facts if we were doing four. That way we would have one of his materials in the graveyard. But we're, I think we're gonna go with our normal route of the Odin just because Odin can swing in for an extra 500 damage, and so that's gonna take our opponent to less than half their life points with our Gulvig on the field. So we'll use his effect obviously to make him unaffected by spell cards, and just swing in for that 48 damage that we always like. So, okay, now he's got the Assault Mode back on the field. So we do have to be wary about uh, if he's able to... Um, so you should be able to negate... When the card effect is activated, tribute this to negate the activation, destroy it. So we don't want to let him destroy our Odin. So, we're just going to summon out the Vanitas, activate Vanitas' effect in order to send another Ascendant to the Graveyard. So now our Graveyard is filled with the uh, Nordic Ascendants, and we're just going to try to battle phase and swing with Odin. And we got the game there, so um, I think like if this was a real duel and the person knew what I was doing, like obviously the AI Nexus doesn't know everything. Uh, but uh, the, they probably wouldn't have used like the Stardust effect to stop Vanitas because they they would have taken less damage if I would have just had to uh, attack with the Odin and then attack with Vanitas directly. But anyways, uh, you know I think we still had the win there. Maybe uh, Assault Mode actually not the best, but also neither are we. So I don't suggest that you guys really take this to locals and expect to win. But it is a fun deck that you guys can play with online and just amongst friends casually. So um, let me know what you guys thought. Let me know what other decks you guys want me to do videos on this on. I know that the quality of these videos isn't perfect, but uh, I should be getting a new computer uh, within a month or so. And so that will hopefully come with better quality recorded duels. So again, let me know what you guys want for recorded duels. Maybe if there's like discussion topics or anything you guys want me to talk about. Anyways, I'll catch you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Common Collector out. Thanks, dudes.